Yeah, I wanna be as strong as Muhammad Ali when he swings it. So full as Indy, I read when she sings it. Sorta like how you can be without being. Kinda like how I can see without seeing. The truth be on the disguise, the you be on your eyes. The me be on the true shit and they be on the lies. They say those that really got it used to lose it all the time. I can't wake up in the office like I knew I should've rhymed. But damn, I think I got it. Anybody could call it. I'ma do the marinas. My Joseph Senior is watching it. Any guys, it's Shisha Khalifa back at it again with another video. Thought do something a little bit different, guys. If I'm not in focus, it's okay, it's fine. It doesn't matter if I'm not in focus. I don't matter right now. What I have for you matters. As you would have seen in the start screen and the little intro that I did. That you would have seen uh, something special. That's right, guys. I got in some special shoes, sneakers. I got in these guys. These are the Yeezy Boost 350 V2. These are called bread, bread, which is basically black and red. I don't know if that's an official name for them, but that's what I'm hearing them being called. So what I'm gonna do, guys, I'm gonna give a first kind of impressions of these. And tell you what I think. I haven't worn these out yet, so I'll tell you what I think of these. In no means I love sneakers, I won't lie, I love them. By no means will I admire sneakerheads. Like, I can't turn and say to you, someone shows me a shoe, I can tell you which is what, but I can't tell you, oh yeah, these are the Jordan 4s or 5s. I just pick what I like, guys. I don't expect a lot of sneaker stuff because, you know, I only want to get sneakers I like, and there's not many sneakers I do like. To be very honest with you guys, so I'm just gonna take it from here, right? And yeah, and if I get anything wrong, guys, or anything, just let me know. Yeah, help me out here, guys. But I shouldn't. This is my first pair of Yeezys, guys. So yep, yeah, let's just get in with it. This is not on. This is not a review. This is a first impressions, and then I will take it to uh, one month after. I'll do one month how they've held up in one month. I'm not gonna take them through like dirt, rocks, mud. No, no, no. Just normal use. Everyday normal use. I'll start wearing them tomorrow for the first time, but yeah, let's just go with. Well, let's just look at one shoe right now. So, guys, this is the Yeezy 350 Boost V2 in the bread color. So, as I've studied Yeezys, as I've been looking at the other Yeezys, older Yeezys, I've been noticing that see the ones, see the ones that came out before this with the stripe. This is a stripe too. The other V2s. They never had this pull tab on the back. If you can see that, guys. I'm never going to use the pull tab, right? They're meant to use it to help get your shoes on, but I'm not going to end up ripping it. I'm not even going to chance it because I don't want to rip it. You might not, but you know, I don't want to. I still got the net eight kind of material, guys. If you can see that, the net eight kind of material from the other Yeezys. And because being the V2. I've heard supposedly when you push them they are a lot more springier than the other Yeezys Like the V1s so then when you press the V1s they would just like if you do this to the V1s Apparently they would just like stay like that they wouldn't bounce back into shape which these ones do These have the boost technology I wore them for the intro and I can understand what you mean by the boost technology I've never used boost I've never had ultra boosts nothing like this and I can understand what you mean by this These are one of the most stylish Yeezys I've seen. I do not like any of the Yeezys apart from these ones. Yeezys are just not my style, but when I seen these, I love these. I tried to get these from the raffles on the release date. Actually, yeah. I went to a store in clothing and apparently they were doing in store. So they supposedly said. So I waited from 6 a.m. till 9 a.m. to find out that they're only doing raffle only. I knew they were doing raffle, but they said in store to everyone, about 100 people were there. I was first in line, so that was a fail. So I spent a free, I could have got them for retail. So I was surfing the internet, going on to the web, like I was on eBay, Soul Supplier, everything, trying to find these Yeezys. And for two days, and I managed to get these from eBay. eBay can be a little sketchy, so watch out. I'm lucky this way, these are real Yeezys. I'm very, very lucky. So these turned out to be 450. This is in great British pounds, so you can put it into dollars, convert it. But yeah, I'm really, really a fan of this colorway. There's an invisible stripe, black stripe. It's not invisible, it's just hard to see. I can't even see it myself. I can see it a tiny bit. Because see where the supply, see where the supply 350 rating is? 
there's a different type of material that you can see and just that material is here and see the material that is used not on the writing but in the background of where it says supply 350 you can tell because there's a different material that forms a, a, a swoosh kind of line that is on the other V2s but you just can't see it because the line's black yeah they are typical Yeezys they have like a translucent kind of bottom, I can't, I don't actually know what they're called, right there, I'm sure there's a name for them. But yep, yeah, the bottom is like that, you have the boost technology. Overall I paid 450 for them, it wasn't what I wanted to pay, but think about this, they're going for 6, 7, 800, 900 on Airgo, Flight Club, vice versa, on all the, all the sneaker places, so I'm, I'm, in that way I'm pretty lucky. And remember, if you're ever picking up Yeezy or any Ultra Boosts, anything with Boost technology, go half a size up. So if you're, let's go with UT size, these guys. So if you're at eight, go do what I did, go eight and a half, guys, because you're gonna benefit. Half size is good because they fit snug. But I was about to buy an eight for about 500 ish and I was gonna get done. I would have had to sell them and I don't want buy these to for resale. I buy these to wear guys. They're actually such a nice pair. And they'll and they'll go well with quite a lot of outfits. So if you want me to do a video, just let me know in the comments below about how to pair these Yeezys with what outfits. Because I'm still I won't do it straight away because I don't know what to pair it with. I'm still trying to work it out. I'm gonna buy some outfits, see what I can pair it with, see what I can do. Tomorrow will just be whatever I've got in the house, right? But I'm gonna buy some outfits and try and pair it with stuff. I don't wanna go for the Kanye look, you know how like Kanye dresses. I wanna put my own twist on this. I'm gonna say, to sum it up, Yeezys are what they are. They are hyped up because one Kanye's name on it. So it's a Kanye thing, it's gonna be hyped up. But it's hyped up more because of the exclusive of how exclusive the shoes because after they're done from stores they're done from stores and you know the only way to get them is from resellers guys and see because the resale price is so much on these Yeezys I'm genuinely gonna just turn around and say that is why genuinely that is why Yeezys are what they are because they're so hyped up because it's a kind of shoe and because it's so limited that it goes up on the price and then the resellers if it wasn't for the resale price I don't think it would be what it is. £150 guys, which is about $200, something like that guys. And then they're, they're, they charge four fifty. Mm, crazy guys, but anyway. This was my quick first impressions of the Yeezy 350, 350 Boost V2 bread. I really like them guys. So yeah, I hope you like this video. Like, comment, subscribe. And yeah, this is Shisha Khalifa signing out. I hope you guys enjoyed. Peace.